Hello and welcome to the demo video of the Excel course. I am Sumit Bansal from TrumpExcel.com and we have created this course for people who are beginners or have intermediate expertise in Excel. This course lays down a strong foundation by covering each concept in detail. For example, the initial few videos would introduce you to concepts such as the structure of Excel, ribbon, quick access toolbar, data entry, editing and formatting, worksheets, workbooks and so on. Once the basics are covered, the individual features that you see in these tabs such as sorting and filtering, Excel tables, conditional formatting and so on are covered in detail. With a rock solid foundation in Excel, we prepare you to master the advanced concepts covered later in this video course. Formulas are an integral part in Excel. In this video course, we have multiple videos that cover major formulas in detail with live demonstration as well as written commentary. On the screen, we have an example of some if formula. All the formulas are covered in this fashion where we explain how to use a formula in a given condition. Once you get a hang of individual formulas, we have advanced video on how these formulas work together with each other to do wonders in Excel. During the entire course, we would cover many amazing Excel tips that would make you more efficient in your day-to-day -day work. For example, these could be quick keyboard shortcuts or paste special tricks or tips on how to handle large data sets in Excel. Suppose if you have a huge data set similar to what is shown here on the screen, you can use features such as new window or freeze panes or split window that would help you work easily with large data sets. This entire course is full of many such efficiency tips that you can use in your day to day work. Here I have some data for these years 2009 to 13. I have the target values and I have the actual values. These could be uh, maybe say revenue growth target values or profitability target values or these could be sales target values. And this chart is one of the representations you can use to show target versus actual values. And if you see on see this chart, green bar represents actual values and blue bar represent target values. And you can see that it was 2009 and 2012 when the target was met. So I'll show you how to create this. Let me delete it and I'll show you how to create this from scratch. I would select this entire data, go to insert and I would insert a clustered column chart. Now here you can see that I have uh, all, both these values plotted together for 2009, 10, 11 and so on. So the first thing I would do is I would right click on uh, the actual values, go to format data series it will open the format data series task pane if you're using 2010 or 7 then it will open the format data series dialog box and here I would put it on secondary axis and I would change the gap width so I would increase the gap width and as soon as I do this you can see that uh, the actual values which is in orange color they are now narrower than the target values so the target value is something which is broad and then within that we have the actual values. Now I can simply change its color. So I would change the color to uh, say green here and similarly I can change the color for the target values as well. So I would put blue here with maybe a good border. So I would put maybe a good blue border here or maybe a green border. And now when I close this you have this chart ready. Thank you. 